Something literally just happened to me and it sucks so much. I really didn't know what else to do but make a video about it. I'm not kidding. This literally just happened. I make a series of videos on this YouTube channel about eShop games worth buying. Maybe you've seen them. There's like 25 of them. To do those, I download and play a stupid amount of games from the eShop. It's not often I really get addicted to one, and that happened. A week or two ago, I found a game that I just love. Funny thing is, I've been having some issues with the game. I've been Googling a lot, trying to figure out how I do certain things in the game. I finally discovered the reason why I'm having a lot of the issues I'm having is because the game is broken. It doesn't work. <sighs> the game is called Monster Harvest. I know, I know. It looks, it's a terrible icon. The art isn't good. It truly is an indie game that had a very small budget. So in a way, I feel bad making this video, but in another way, I don't because the game is broken and shouldn't have been released. It was delayed three or four times already and should have been delayed a fifth. I'm actually going to show you how fun the game is and how much potential it has and why I've been loving it so much, but I'm also going to show you everything that's not working and why. Well, actually, I don't know why. No one knows why. Ugh. The game's $20, so like not a crazy price. It's marketed as such a Stardew Valley clone, and Stardew Valley is still one of the best-selling games on Switch, so you know this is going to do well just with that alone. There are people looking at it, interested in buying it, because it happened to me. Like, you know when you're playing Stardew, you don't really know how certain things work, and you don't really want to Google it and ruin it. You're just like, I'll figure it out. Turns out there was nothing to figure out. It just wasn't working. The Switch port is rough in general. There was a cursor in the middle of the screen there for a second, right? It's because it thought I was on PC, but now it's realizing I'm on Switch. Like, it's a very rough port. So the game has three seasons. I've already, in this playthrough, played through the first two seasons. I'm about to hit the third season literally, like, tomorrow in the game. Look how good- it looks so fun! Look how cute! Okay, never mind. <laughs> the biggest difference immediately are these little guys following me. This game is essentially Stardew Valley meets Pokemon in a way. While you're growing your crops, you can go and get these slimes. So the red slimes, if I put it on, which I can't do to those or those or those because my game is bugged and broken. Actually, I can probably do it to these. Yeah, okay. So now I've red slimed that tree. It turns into a monster, which then will either go into my party if I have room, or it'll go over here into this little playpen thing, and you can start collecting all these planimals or plantimals or something like that. It's really cute. And then, you know, like the mines in Stardew Valley, I'll take you there in this game, but there's a dungeon thing. But rather than go around and frailing a sword to attack, you get into Pokemon style turn-based battles. But here is where we start getting into the first couple of broken things. You can get blue slimes. If you put a blue slime on something, it'll turn it into a livestock planimal. So not one that will attack, but one that's supposed to grow and provide you with wool or eggs or whatever. I've been really struggling to make money because the game is bugged and it won't let the livestock grow. All of these are babies. I've been coming in here and feeding them every day, hoping that they'll grow. I started to think maybe I need to put blue slimes on these guys now, and I tried that. I tried everything, but then I started Googling, and they're kind of hard to find. Even putting that in, I had to scroll down here quite a way. Huge bugs in Monster Hunter hold off for now. The biggest one, which I actually haven't had, fortunately, is apparently a game-breaking bug which breaks your save and won't allow you to load in ever. I haven't had that one. I just let the autosave take care of that. I refuse to save because apparently there is a risk. If you save your game at any point, it might break it and you'll lose everything. Oh my god, there's another bug right here. This game is a mess. I managed to grow a livestock mount planimal. It wasn't cheap. It cost $1,200, which early in the game took me like a whole month to save up. I had to do it only via crops and half my crops aren't growing because of the bug. If you look down here, all all these crops are bugged. I've had them the whole month and they refuse to grow because they're bugged. So I've been struggling to make money. The money I did make, I spent on a super blue slime, which allows me to grow a mount, but the mounts disappear. There's a bug in the game that makes the mounts disappear. So after all of that, I lost my mount and I can prove that I had it because I had screen capture of it, which I'll show now. 
How cool, right? But it's gone. You're even supposed to be able to go to this sign and buy or, or sell the mound. But now that's gone. I can't buy or sell it. It's just gone from the game. It doesn't make any sense. A lot of money and a lot of time wasted in that one bug alone. So the general store is fine for me. But a huge bug is people aren't able to go here and buy anything. Thankfully, I haven't had that one. But I've had more than enough. These seeds that aren't growing, these are actually the super rare hybrid expensive seeds. It's not random which ones don't grow. The regular seeds, these ones grow just fine, but the really expensive ones that cost $100 a packet, those are broken in the game on PC and console. And as far as I can see, this isn't a bug that you might have. This is a bug you will have. I'm not kidding. You will 100% not be able to grow these seeds. The thing that's really annoying too is the green slime makes it so whatever you plant will instantly grow, but you're not allowed to use those on these. So you can't even force them to to grow. There's nothing you can do. Ugh. I know I'm ranting all over the place, but circling back to my livestock, these guys are supposed to grow and they never do. I can't make money from livestock ever at any point. They're stuck as babies. They're completely useless. And I don't know if they, if they even fix any of these bugs, if my game will magically get fixed or if my game is always going to be broken and I'd have to start a new one. The other thing that's really weird to me, they have NPCs around the world and you're able to gift them things. Like I can gift this guy an apple and they do tell you if they like it or not. Like I've learned that the shopkeep doesn't like fermented chili, but loves fermented apples. I've learned that myself. And obviously this guy likes my crab apple. Good for him. But there is no way of tracking it like in Stardew Valley. You can track what slimes turn into what things. It tells me my super slime makes my mount. I know that because I did it. It's gone now, but look how cool he did look. But there is no way of tracking relationships in the game. If you look at the menu bar down the bottom there, you see those tiny little itsy bitsy numbers next to everything? That is so impossible to read when you're on a Switch screen. I never know how much I have of anything. It's about two pixels when you're playing in handheld mode. So a lot of people online are calling the game a scam. I think all of that is really unfair. I don't think it was in any way intentional to be like this at launch. If we go to Merge Games Twitter, they did make a statement fair recently. So here they talk about how they are focusing on a patch solely revolving the issue around save data because yes, arguably that is the most important one to try and fix. So they're working on a patch that fixes solely that, which is great, but also very frustrating. How much time is that going to take, guys? Because once you've done that, the game's still broken. I mean, it's nice that I'd be able to save, but uh... And I do love this clarity though, by the way. This clarity is great and it's an indie dev team. Can I just reiterate that a billion times over? They're focusing on the PC right now because they said that once they fix PC, it's easier for them to move on and fix the console. And then honestly, they don't even in this statement go to address any of the game's actual bugs and issues. Apparently a really common bug that a lot of people are having, they just randomly stop leveling up. I thought maybe I just capped experience, didn't know it was a bug. Depressing to find out it wasn't. That's been my experience with this whole thing. Like my planimals weren't growing. And in a weird way, I was like excited by that because I thought there was something I was supposed to figure out. And I love that. I love figuring out stuff. To find out that they're actually broken was extremely depressing. Then you start wondering, well, what else is actually broken and what's a feature? You know how I can't track my character relationships? Well, how do I know I'm even actually building them then? Maybe it's been doing nothing the whole time. I have no way of knowing what is a bug and what is a feature. And it's so frustrating. Look, I, I know I sound very passionate about this like $15 indie game on the eShop, but you just got to remember I've been playing it for a week or two now and loving it. And now just today, I have had my entire world and wall come crashing down around me as I've realized that it's all been for nothing. I've literally wasted my time. So the dev did reply to this post and I read it. It's nice. Again, they're doing their best to provide clarity. I just want to reiterate, it's an indie team. Like I'm not trying to slash into them. In fact, what they've created here is something really special and I like the game a lot. Shouldn't still be selling it in this state. You just shouldn't. I'm pretty savvy and I can jump on the internet and I can Google this stuff and find this stuff and be like, oh, okay, it's broken. But like kids or like your random casual gamers like picking this up and I gotta know what's going on. Someone's fishing mechanism wasn't working for them. My fishing is fine, but apparently they can't fish. Small things like the scroll wheel in the furniture store gets stuck if they spend too long going through the menu. Someone says cooking doesn't work for them. I can't get to cooking. I can't cook. My planimals aren't making anything. They're babies. So I don't even know if my cooking doesn't work. That whole feature of the game is locked out for me. <sighs>
Now that I've ranted about all of that, I do want to take a look at the game and look at what's promising here and look at what we've actually got on offer. I mean, again, visually, I love the way it looks. The amount of villages in the town, it's a robust community of people. You can talk to all of them. You can build relationships, supposedly. Maybe, I don't know. But if you go over here, there's a slime store. This is the area where you can buy slimes, super slimes, and don't waste your money, apparently. So on this side of the town, which I actually had to make a bunch of money to unlock this side of town. So that was a whole thing. You can go to this tree, and apparently this is where, if you spend too long in here, the scroll will get stuck. There's different things to collect on the ground for different seasons. I just found like a lemon or something. This is where you go fishing, get the fishing rod in there, blah, blah, blah. Another thing I really like about uh, harv monster harvest... I, don't, I always forget what it's called. I keep calling it Harvest Valley. The other thing I really like about Monster Harvest is there's no time. There's no time. Something that really stresses me out in Stardew is the clock constantly running out on your day. But you can spend as much time as you want, baby. Day is day. It's nicely separated into day and evening. At evening, you can go into the mine areas and during the day, you do all your farming and everything if you were able to and it wasn't all broken. Although I can pluck all of these apples. And then you sell them over here. This is essentially the, yeah, it's a selling area. Sweet we sell. We'll sell the hay. The hay is actually a glitch as well. The hay typically either disappears when you leave the barn or it stays weirdly in your inventory. It doesn't matter. It's just, gl it's just glitchy. <laughs> I don't know why I'm explaining the hay. I need to show you the mine. You would get there a lot quicker if I had my mount. Oh, also, there's a consignment board thing here. And then as you like collect things and like fish, you get rewards. So because I got all the wet crop season collection, they improved my axe all axes have upgraded to use less stamina. I was looking forward to getting to the next season and doing it all again and finding out what this reward was. Another thing I love about the game is you go in with your planimals and they start at a certain level to begin with level one when you start the game, but they die and they can die pretty easily. But interestingly, when a monster dies, you get soil points and then with the soil count gets higher, your next planimal you grow will start at level five, level 10, level 15. So you don't always have to go into a dungeon starting fresh. For me, I'm starting at level 14 now. When you start getting three or four levels down into this dungeon, I want to hit that guy. See you later. You start finding mythical ore, and that's how you get the final level of your uh, weapons and tools and stuff. Every time it's random, little roguelite area, which I love it. I love that it's random every time. And then you're looking for this room. This will move you on to floor two. There's like a really strong planimal in here you have to beat. And then you get a ton of stuff from the chest, usually a bunch of wood and then like 10 free seeds, which is awesome. Look at them all. I got nine free seeds. I actually really love the setup of this game. Like it's really well thought out. There is some things I don't love. Like in the battles, you can't switch out or run. So if you get into a battle and your little planimal is pretty low health, you just kind of have to ride it out and chances are it's gonna die. And then it will automatically switch to whatever is next in your party. While initially I was getting upset that my planimals were dying, I started to realize that every time they died, I got to improve my soil, which means all the planimals I make from then on, no matter what, are gonna be stronger because this one planimal sacrificed its life one time. I like that. That's a cool idea. Oh, can't survive one more hit. You better land this. Nice. All right, we're at level three, but you can just go back out this exit and it will take you all the way out of the dungeon. Okay, so if I did have anything die, I would come here. I can upgrade the soil. So now I'm soil level 14, which means all my monsters will be level 14 when they grow. I like that. And then you go to bed and you start a new season. Also, it takes forever when you go to sleep. Like I've been staring at a black screen the last 20 seconds. It's still loading. My God, maybe it's broken. Nope, there we go. Uh, okay, brand new day. Oh, I love it. Oh my God. Usually the crops would be all withered, but I guess they are just that bugged that they didn't even die. And I just have to manually get rid of these very expensive seeds. But it's cute and it has cute music. It's fun to... He's back! happy ending wait maybe my livestock have grown no but he's back oh my god i can't believe he just bugged back like i'm not kidding he's been gone for like five in-game days and now he's just randomly back 
I shouldn't be happy because it fixes nothing. It raises more questions than it answers. Well, that's this game. And that's why you shouldn't buy it yet. Somewhere down the line, yeah, this game's gonna be worth its 15 to 20 dollars. I'm so done with this game until they fix it. Also, get a better icon. Your game's pixelated. Just lean into that. This looks like a budget mobile icon. I mean, don't focus on that. Maybe fix the game before you fix that. I just wanted to say, don't buy the game yet. I know it looks good, but it's very, it's just so broken. Don't, don't waste your money right now. And merge games, I'm sorry that I made this video in a way, but also not. I feel bad because it's an indie dev team. Whenever you do finally get it working, hit me up and I'll make another video talking about how fixed it is now and, and how much fun it is. I promise I will. If you enjoyed this video, uh, like it. If I helped you in any way, uh, subscribe. Uh, hit the bell too. I never talk about that. I'm, I'm trying to more now, uh, but hit the bell and uh, I'll see you in the next video when I have good games that are worth buying. Bye.